in this video we are going to synchronize or sync settings between visual studio code in two different computers for example now i'm using my windows machine and i'm going to just grab everything from this visual studio code and then install it in a new freshly installed uh, visual studio code in another computer so basically as you can see i've got like a bunch of extensions and also i have some settings uh, for the themes and coloring so if i go there and just look for the settings and click here as you can see i have a lot of stuff here and even if i go to the extensions and look for the install one i have a bunch of them so let's see how can we sync all these extensions and settings between two different uh, visual studio code so first thing first make sure you have the latest version of visual studio code installed so by the time of recording this video in july 2020 i'm using version 1.48 and uh, one way to make sure you're using the latest version is to go through the uh, this gearbox and then click on a check for the update and if your visual studio code is not up to date it's going to download the update and install it if it is update you will see this message once you have done this part then the next thing is to go and click on a gear again and then turn on setting sync so once you click there you just need to turn on and then it's going to ask you what do you want to sync so basically we want to sync everything in this case so i'm going to click and sign in and turn on then it's going to ask you where do you want to sign in uh, for most of us probably we're going to use github but feel free to choose any of them so i'm going to use github it will open browser and then from there you're going to press continue and then if you're not logged into your github account it's going to ask you to log in and if you're already done if you're already logged in you will see this page i'm going to authorize it and then from here successful and open visual studio code so allow extension to open this url again you can say yes or open and from here you already see i have already logged in so now that i logged in on the bottom right you see it is syncing everything and it's already turned on so if you click here again you can see i can see manage trusted extensions i can sign out and i can setting again well we're not going to go through all of them but you can see if you click on a config you can see which one do you want to sync and from there now you have the setting sync on so now we're going to jump to the next computer and then read everything and grab everything we have from this computer so now we are in the second computer and we make sure we're using the latest version of visual studio code so i just installed this visual studio code as you can see we're using again the version 1.48 it doesn't matter if the versions are not equal so what you need to do now is go here and well before we just go there i will just show another stuff so if you go to the settings and from here as you can see my settings.json is absolutely empty because this um, visual studio code is new so and if i go to the uh, extensions and quickly show what is installed for example nothing is here so from here we are going to click on the gear icon again and then turn on syncing settings press turn on and we want to turn on everything sign in with the github account and now in a google chrome or your browser you will see this icon so you need to sign into your github account and then if you signed in uh, you will jump to this page you press continue and everything is success you press open visual studio code and then press open one more time now as you can see on the bottom right it says setting syncs and very quickly you see my settings.json now it changed because 
everything is there and now it's going to install more and more uh, extensions all the extensions i had in a previous laptop or previous visual studio code so it's going to download all of them install everything bring everything on a new computer so once we have everything ready so i'm going to just close all of these things so if i go to the for example enable one i should be able to see some of them if i go to install again it's going to show everything i have so this is it for now you can see everything we had in a computer a now is in a computer b so visual studio codes are both uh, the same in both computers you don't need to be worried if you update something in your for example home computer you will exactly have the same thing in the work computer and vice versa thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe or share the video if you enjoy watching these kind of videos